Hey everyone, Tim here. Uh, what I wanted to do today was just make a really quick video on uh, volt circle calculations. And um, what we'll do here is I got this, there's a link uh, that I'll, I'll send here to littlemachineshop.com. They have a, a couple of these uh, bolt hole calculators. But what I also wanted to do is follow along with the scientific calculator and show you the very basic uh, trig functions that you can use. Say you were in your machine shop and you didn't have access to a computer, but you knew that uh, what the bolt hole circle was, it, any number of holes you want, you can calculate where they should be in an XY uh, position. And uh, we'll start out and feed this information in here. Let's say we'll use eight holes and uh, say we're going to do a three inch uh, bolt hole circle and the diameter of the hole itself uh, we'll say it's an eighth of an inch, it doesn't really matter. And then we're going to start out our first angle at zero degrees. So in a circle, this is zero degrees. Of course, this is 90. This is 180 over here, and this is 270 coming around back to uh, 360 and zero, of course. So we have that set up, an eight, uh, eight hole pattern, three inches, and then we're going to hit calculate. And then that is going to give us our, um, our numbers in our X and Y. And you can see something right away. You can see that most of these numbers are the same with the, there's very few changes except for there might be an X minus and a Y minus. And what that is, is, uh, well, these eight hole patterns, uh, you, you starting out and starting at zero, uh, say we had a hole here and a hole here, like we do with the eight hole pattern starting at zero, you got four of them right away. Half of a three inch bolt circle is 1.5. This is y axis would be zero. Then you're going to come to x zero y plus 1.5, um, x minus 1.5 y zero, and then um, x zero uh, y minus 1.5. Then the next thing at 45 degrees, you're just multiplying 1.5 by the cosine of 45 degrees, which is 0 0.7071. So let's do that. Let's take 1.5 times 45 degrees cosine. And you can see that it equals that 1.060. And um, that's exactly what we come up with. Now the Y, the cosine and sine are the same for 45 degrees, 0 0.7071. What I usually do is I multiply the, once I have this number, I multiply it by the tangent of the, the angle. In this case, the tangent would be one, so that's why it comes up that. So this is really straightforward, and you can see these numbers change. Once you have these numbers in this first quadrant, you have all the rest of the numbers. <clears throat> now, what I mean by quadrant, in the court, Cartesian coordinate system, this would be quadrant one. This would be x plus y plus. Quadrant two would be x minus y plus. Quadrant three would be x minus y minus. Quadrant four would be x plus y minus. So that's pretty straightforward, but let's do something a little different. Let's take and start out our first hole at 15 degrees. And that's not uncommon. You may get a print. And so um, say this first one started out at 15 degrees. Now you can see how those numbers have changed. So they don't all just match up. But you can see that they still, like in the Cartesian coordinate system, you can see this is a x plus, y plus, and so on. And uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to pop up this scientific calculator. And this is the beauty of just a little trig. We know we have a three inch bolt circle and we know uh, this radius here is 1.5. So I can take 1.5 times 15 degrees cosine and that equals 1.4489. And then I can take the tangent. Um, once I already have this number up here, I like to do this. You could take the sine of this, but I like to just take the tangents. Um, take times 15 degrees tangent equals 0.388. And you see that's that number exactly. Now, because there are eight holes, there's 45 degrees separation in between them. So you just add 45 degrees and keep adding it. 45 degrees and uh, 15 degrees is 60. So let's take, and we'll take 1.5 times 60 degrees cosine. 
that equals 0.75. Multiply that by 60 degrees tangent. There's our next number, 1.229, and so on. And so we'll just keep going all the way around. And that's a very simple way to get the, those circles. And uh, like I say, download these links. These calculators are, are wonderful. But say you get stuck and you don't have one, um, hopefully that will help you get through that. Now, another thing that you may get, and we'll look at a different uh, calculator that they have here. Sometimes you're going to get a part in, and you won't have a print for it, and they may want you to reverse engineer it. And you got... Uh, a whole pattern here and they're not exactly across from each other. What do you do? Well you can take this neighboring hole with this calculator and you can take from center line to center line. So what I'd like to do and uh, is say this whole diameter is a half an inch. I measure this whole diameter a half an inch then I'm going to measure from this inside edge to this inside edge and then whatever I have I'm going to add that whole diameter to it or you can measure outside to outside edge with the, your caliper and then subtract it either either way will work for you so with this calculator I'm going to take the number of holes and say it was eight and then say the distance between my adjacent holes say it was 1.25 I hit calculate and now I know my bolt hole circle is 3.266 now there's a, a formula for that uh, uh, P over sine um, times 180 divided by N. And I'll, I'll write that down and explain that what, uh, where, where P would be the uh, distance between the neighboring bolts and N would be the number of holes. So that way if you don't have access to the computer or the calculator, you'll have that formula. So these are some pretty slick things. Uh, that's all I have for today. Uh, thanks for watching and we'll catch you next time.